it's Molly and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be five super last minute Halloween costume DIY ideas which I've never done before on my channel like a Halloween type of video so I thought it would be fun to do and I really hope you guys enjoy it. This video is also super exciting because it's a collab with a bunch of other girls. We're all each showing you five DIY Halloween costumes that are super last minute so in total there's 30 which is amazing. You have so many different options so I'm going to play a short little clip of each of their videos right now so that way you can get an idea of what you'll see on their channels. Hi, I'm Jill and I'm showing you five easy DIY costumes. Hey guys, I'm Michaela from the channel Miss Michaela G. Hey guys, I'm Kinsey and I'm also doing five costume ideas so if you guys want to check them out, the link will be in the description. Hi guys, I'm Nicole Jacklin and I'm doing five last minute Halloween costumes. Hey, what's up? My name's Danielle Carolyn. Nice to meet you. So yeah, I will leave all of their videos in the description box down below in a playlist, so make sure to go check them out after you watch this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel so that way you can see all the new videos that I post all the time and join the fam because that would mean a lot to me. And also, right now, as an added benefit to subscribing to my channel, I'm currently giving away these adorable white Beats headphones and the only rule is that you have to be a subscriber, so Make sure to hit that subscribe button, it's super easy, and you could possibly win these adorable headphones, which, who wouldn't want that? But with all that being said, let's jump into the video. Alright, so the first DIY Halloween costume is an emoji, which I think is so cute and so customizable. You could easily do this with a bunch of your friends and all be different emojis, which I think would be so cute. But for this one, I decided to do the heart eye emoji because that's my personal favorite. So the supplies for this Halloween costume are super simple. All you're going to need really is a giant yellow t-shirt and I found mine at my local craft store in like an extra large. That way it kind of fits more so like a dress, but I did wear shorts underneath it just in case and then you're also going to need some fabric paint in red and black and all you have to do is just take a paintbrush and paint on the little hearts and the smiley face and then bam you are an emoji I paired my emoji dress with some black tights some black slip-ons and a pillow I found at my craft store So this next one is one of my personal favorites because I love Taylor Swift, especially her 1989 album. It is so good and seriously it never gets old. So that is what this costume is. So I'm guessing a majority of you guys probably already have a lot of these things in your closet, which is awesome for a last minute costume. The first thing you're going to need is a striped t-shirt. I found mine at Forever 21 if you're wondering, and then I paired that along with some black skinny jeans, and then I put on my black slip-ons. I'm pretty much wear them with every single costume in this video because they go with everything. After that, I just threw on some Ray-Ban sunglasses, some red lipstick, and then I cut out a white poster board and wrote TS 1989 on it and made it look kind of like a Polaroid so it's a little bit thicker at the bottom to resemble her 1989 album and you can just carry this around with you and I'm obsessed. So this next DIY costume is a voodoo doll, which I think is so cute and a little bit different than the typical costume. I decided to make this costume really similar to how I made the emoji one, so all you need is a white dress. I got mine at H&M, they had so many different colors of it, and then just take some fabric paints and kind of paint on like stitches and patches and hearts with little pins in them. To complete the look, I just wore some black tights and my black Steve Madden slip-ons yet again, and then that is the finished look. You can carry around a little stuffed animal doll with you if you want to as well, and you can also, if you have time, get really creative with the makeup because I think that that would be really fun. Hope you're good to keep a secret. So you're good to keep a secret. So you know I don't trust nobody. I know you don't trust nobody. Said only I could touch your body. So baby, you know I know you know I know. Now, this costume idea is really good for like a super, super last minute party. Like we're talking, you have a couple hours until you have to leave your house. I think that this is really easy to recreate. And again, you probably have a lot of these things already in your closet. 
The first thing you of course need for your Little Red Riding Hood outfit is a red hooded clothing item. So I found this red sweatshirt from H&M for literally $10 and this is perfect because you could totally wear this out again after Halloween so it's not a waste of money if you have to go out and buy it. Then to finish off the look, pair it with a white tank top and a pair of black jeans that you have lying around in your closet and you are good to go. If you want to get extra fancy you can add a little basket. I found mine at Michael's and bonus you can put your candy in it if you're going trick-or-treating. And the last DIY Halloween costume that I wanted to share with you guys today is also super simple. It's a scarecrow. You can't go wrong with this, especially if you have multiple parties to go to on Halloween. This is always a good backup to have. All you really need for this costume is a flannel, which I'm sure a ton of you guys already own, but if you don't, you can for sure find one for really cheap at Target or H&M or Forever 21. The makeup is where you get to really have fun with this, so I decided to put on a red lip and then also do a little patch on my nose, and then I outlined everything with some black eyeliner pen, and I kind of like exaggerated my lips to make them look like they have stitches on them, as well as on my nose patch, and then I just topped it off with a straw hat that I had lying around, and I think that this looks so cute. Alright you guys, so that was it for my DIY Halloween costumes video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and got some inspiration from it. Leave a comment down below of what you are being for Halloween because I'm so curious. And if you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and join the family. It's greatly appreciated and I would love for you to stick around, see new videos from me, and be entered to win those beats because that's amazing. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to go check out all the other girls channels. I'll have them all linked down below. And I think that's everything. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video very soon. Bye!